Hi folks, uh, I've mounted my solar panel, I just put the solar panel on this metal roof that I've got covering my porch and uh, I've got it in a more or less semi-permanent uh, setup here. Uh, it is temporary but uh, I, I want to have it up there for probably at least a couple weeks so I wanted to do at least a, a half decent job of putting it up there neatly and uh, so that it won't get tangled up. Now, it's going down and to the bottom of that window, which is the window to the room where I have my uh, where I have my portable power pack and also my PWM charge controller and I'll show you how I got it in there so what I did is I, I actually drilled a hole in the corner of that screen and then through the window uh, the window fittings itself and I put a small hole and I wanted it so the window would close and the, the, the wire wouldn't get all crimped up or anything. But I also wanted to have it so that uh, I could plug up those holes once I'm done doing this. So here is my little setup and got inside the room now and makes it easier to see these lights. It's hard to see these when uh, it's out in the bright sun. But that bright one on the left means that I've got a, a charge coming from my solar panels. And the one next to it in the middle is uh, what that means when it's green like that is that it's charging the battery. If that was flashing, then uh, the battery would be completely charged. So I'm going to wait and see how long it takes to charge up this portable power pack using that 80 watt panel or the 240 watt panels that I have up on the roof now. And I'm going to guess, it's only a guess, that that'll be completely charged by, by this evening, sometime probably around 6 or 7. And it's May 25th right now, so the sun stays up for a good long time. Uh, we're gonna, and it's a bright sunny day out there, there's not a cloud in the sky, so... I should be able to uh, get this whole thing completely charged up in that length of time. We'll see. This is a this is an unexpected uh, result. Now I've only had this set up now, uh, plugged into the battery on this power pack here. I've only had it set up for about an hour, and when I started, <clears throat> the uh, the battery was a little bit over 12 volts, and now it's over 13 volts. And this charge controller is saying that it's completely and fully charged, and. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it to take such a short amount of time. It's far faster than I thought it was because when I used the AC charger that came with uh, this power pack, it takes a long time to charge it up. It takes, uh, you know, to start with, you're supposed to charge it for 34 hours and then. Uh, or is it 48? I forget. And then no longer than uh, 34 after that. And so I'm I'm very uh, amazed that it took such a short amount of time to to charge up that battery. 
I had it at the the low power. Uh, I, I I used it powering up some some lights in in the house here, and I used it and ran that battery down. Now it's already charged up and it only took uh, it only took a little bit more than an hour. Uh, I didn't exactly time it, but it wasn't a long time, so I'm I'm pretty surprised. And anyway, that that's about it for this part of it. Uh, now the next part, I've decided to buy a 35 amp hour sealed battery, and there's one on Amazon that I intend to buy, and it uh, it costs 65 dollars, and once I get it and hook up the power pack to that battery then this experiment will be more or less complete I'll uh, I'll just uh, hook that up and power some things with it uh, and I'm probably also gonna get a uh, a different inverter than the one that I have the one I have is pretty small I'm gonna buy one from Harbor Freight. Yeah, I know Harbor Freight sucks, but uh, I, I think this will be okay. I really do. Uh, it's gonna be a fairly large power inverter, and uh, we'll have to just see what happens once I get it. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.